Episode 21, Workplace Survival Comedy Thank you, thank you. It's great to be here tonight, and I'm excited to talk about navigating the workplace. You know, it's not easy to get ahead in the working world, but I've got some tips that might help you out. First off, you've got to dress for success. And by that, I mean wear clothes that don't make you look like you just rolled out of bed. I once showed up to work in my pajamas and my boss told me I looked like I was ready for a nap. Lesson learned. Another thing to keep in mind is that you've got to play the game. That means being willing to schmooze with the higher-ups and kiss a little butt. I remember one time I brought my boss a cup of coffee and he said, wow, you're such a brown noser. And I said, thanks. I like to think of myself as more of a hazel noser. Of course, navigating the workplace can also be tricky when it comes to office politics. It's important to stay on everyone's good side, but sometimes that can be easier said than done. I once accidentally sent an email complaining about my coworker to my coworker instead of my friend. Let's just say I had to do some damage control after that one. And let's not forget about the joys of workplace meetings. There's always that one person who feels the need to chime in with their opinion on everything, even if it's not relevant. I like to call that person Captain Obvious. You know who I'm talking about, they're the ones who say things like well, we could always try working harder. Oh, really? I hadn't thought of that. In conclusion, navigating the workplace can be a minefield, but with a little bit of humor and some common sense, you'll be able to make it through unscathed. Just remember, dress well, play the game, avoid office politics, and don't be Captain Obvious. Thank you and good night. Navigating the workplace can be a real challenge, especially for those of us who are new to the job market. It's like trying to find your way through a maze blindfolded, with your boss constantly changing the layout just to keep things interesting. One thing that really drives me nuts about the workplace is office jargon. It's like everyone is speaking a different language, and if you don't know the secret code words, you're out of the loop. I remember my first day on the job, my boss told me we needed to circle back on a project. I had no idea what that meant. Was I supposed to physically draw a circle on the project? Was there some kind of ritual involved? I was so confused. And then there are the office politics. It's like a high school popularity contest, except instead of being based on looks and charm, it's based on who can kiss the bosses but the most. I always try to stay out of it, but it's hard when you see people getting ahead just because they're good at playing the game. But the worst part about navigating the workplace is dealing with difficult coworkers. You know the type, the ones who always have something negative to say, or who are constantly trying to one-up you. I used to work with a guy who would always brag about how much work he had to do, like he was the only one with a busy schedule. I wanted to tell him, dude, we all have work to do. You're not special. Despite all the challenges, though, I've learned that the key to navigating the workplace is to stay positive and keep a sense of humor about things. After all, if you can't laugh at the absurdity of it all, you're just going to end up crying in the bathroom. So let's raise a glass to all the hardworking people out there who are just trying to make it through the workday without losing their minds. Cheers. So, navigating the workplace. It's like being on a never-ending game show, isn't it? You have to figure out the rules, deal with the politics, and hope you don't get voted off the island. One of the biggest challenges in the workplace is figuring out who's in charge. You have your boss, your boss's boss, your boss's boss's boss. It's like a never-ending chain of command. And let's not forget about those co-workers who think they're in charge. You know who I'm talking about, the ones who act like they're the boss even though they're not. They're like the overachieving kid in class who always raises their hand and answers every question, even when nobody asks them. Another challenge is dealing with office politics. It's like a real-life version of Survivor. You have to form alliances, strategize, and hope you don't get blindsided. And let's not forget about the backstabbing, it's like Game of Thrones, but with staplers and paperclips. But here's the thing, sometimes the biggest obstacle in the workplace is yourself. We all have our quirks and idiosyncrasies that can make working with us a challenge. For example, I have a habit of talking to myself when I'm stressed out. It's not that I'm crazy. It's just that I need to hear a sane voice every once in a while. And don't even get me started on workplace jargon. It's like a whole other language. You have your KPIs, your deliverables, your synergies. It's enough to make your head spin. And let's not forget about those email chains that go on forever. It's like trying to follow a conversation between a group of teenagers on TikTok. But despite all the challenges, the workplace can be a pretty great place to be. You get to meet all kinds of interesting people, learn new skills, 
and hopefully, make a difference in the world. And if all else fails, there's always coffee. Lots and lots of coffee. <laughs> And that wraps up another laughter-filled episode of Not So Funny A. Eh? If you enjoyed the jokes generated by our AI algorithms, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our comedy-loving community.